Welcome ladies and gentlemen to your daily escape. This is Zurai and thanks for tuning in. Now today I just wanted to discuss uh, Sparrow Racing in Destiny and um, some problems that I think Bungie should fix about racing if they ever decide to implement it in the game in the future and maybe some things that are right about, about Sparrow Racing. So stay tuned and I'll discuss all of these things. First off, I want to talk about, first I want to make the point that this is my opinion. And you guys are completely and 100% entitled to your opinions. In fact, leave them in the in the comments below. I would be more than happy to discuss this further and to read you guys' comments. And then secondly, I just want to point out I am not a pro at all. I, in my opinion, I suck horribly at Sparrow Racing. So please do keep that in mind. Maybe 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 some of my opinions stem from the fact that I am not very good um, and that I don't place in these races that often. Having said that, I think my opinions are still valid um, as I have friends who are very good at racing who place very frequently and uh, some of these are their frustrations as well with racing. So let's start off with what I think is wrong and then we'll move on to what I think is right. So what's wrong about Sparrow Racing in Destiny? I get so frustrated whenever I hit a random obstacle or catch that is alongside a wall and it stops me right in my tracks that that is beyond frustrating and I want to point out that we play games to have fun okay now there needs to be a measure of difficulty so that there is a sense of accomplishment when we finally achieve the goal but having random uh, protrusions and juts from these from the walls and then being uh, even even just turning a slight bit or just uh, just hitting those juts and being stopped in my tracks is so frustrating. Now I understand there's competition and uh, when a when another racer uh, pushes you aside or just like shoves you aside and and you bounce against the wall and you lose speed that's completely fine I don't have a problem with that but it's the times when you just you just you're 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 trying to make a corner as tight as you can and there's just this this rock this jut that sticks out and it stops you 100% like let's say I was in first place and I was trying to do that and I was trying to I was trying to be efficient and I was trying to take a corner um, as tight as I possibly could and then there's just this random rock right in the way and that is so frustrating okay now like I said like let's say I mean you some people could argue that let's say you're you're racing you want to be in the middle of the track middle of your lane why are you why are you so close to the wall to begin with uh, and that's and that's a good point that's a good point you know this could be because I suck at, at racing um, but other games I've played other racing style games you lose time when you bump into the wall or, or anything like that or they have slow areas where they have like sand next to the the pavement and so it still costs you to be to make mistakes like that but when something just stops you in your tracks that is not fun it's not productive and it, it's just it's just frustrating all around and along this that same train of thought obstacles why are there random rocks sometimes in the middle of the lane that, that like bounce you or push you off to the side? Like I, I want I want this race to be as seamless as possible. Now, I, like I said, I understand difficulty and, and challenge, but those things don't help. There's plenty of other obstacles and challenges and other players to avoid that having those random items doesn't add to the enjoyment or difficulty of the game. And I would say this is not my only opinion because I have a few friends who play as well who are very good, who place in the top three almost every race, that share the same frustration. They on the other hand are, are able to compensate for it because they have better technique than I do and are able to succeed at the race, you know, whereas because of my poor technique I have a hard time and it just stops me in my tracks and I, I've lost the race. Anyways, moving on. A second issue I have with with the racing is the random stalls. I, I don't know I don't know if this is my problem. I don't know if it's a problem with my controller. I don't know if it's because you run out of fuel sometimes. I, I'm not sure. Maybe I don't hit all the gates enough times. But there are so many times every day that I that I pick up my controller to race, 
My 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 acceleration trigger is fully depressed. I don't let go of it. Like it's fully maybe that's part of my problem, but it is fully depressed. And my sparrow will stop in its tracks for no damn reason. It just stops. Now, if you guys know that that is a user error and not a problem with Bungie, please let me know in the comments because I am beyond frustrated with it. And I mean, all of these things could be problems just related to myself, but I would like to know if any of you guys share the same frustration. Okay, maybe it's just me, and I will welcome, I stand, I can be corrected, okay? So, random stalls, and I don't know why, why it is, um, I'm playing some footage just showing all the times that my sparrow just stops, okay? It's too many times for me to to count me and I don't think it's because I let go of my trigger or press my brakes nothing obvious like that so that was that was the second thing that second frustration that I have with sparrow racing in destiny third and final frustration that I have is there's a there's no upgrade or there's a limited upgrade path for your sparrow okay so I understand there are perks with armor okay and that's amazing but when you're driving these sparrows they're so floaty they're so imprecise and floaty. Like I don't know how, I don't know how we even finish the track to begin with. It, we're just we're it's it's very uncontrollable. Now you could ascribe this to oh it's a sparrow it's a hovercraft you know it's like a Star Wars pod racing it's not supposed to be a Ferrari or a Lamborghini or anything like that and and I can understand that I can see that point of view but you know Destiny itself isn't all that realistic I will say. And for a racing game, um, it just seems very crude and not very precise. Now that may be part of the challenge, and I can be corrected. If you guys have a, a different opinion, please leave it leave it in the comments below. I want to hear your guys' feedback, okay? But it is my opinion that we there, even even if you start out with a floaty sparrow, I mean, give us an upgrade path so that we can tune it into a more precise racing machine okay um, that would be greatly appreciated like I said I, I acknowledge the fact that there are perks with racing armor but none of those as far as I'm aware affect how your sparrow handles okay it's it's handling how how fine its suspension is how fine the tuning is okay all right so I've, I, I that that is a frustration I want to be able to work my way or buy with in-game credits or earn a sparrow that is is more refined if that makes sense okay so those are my gripes um, I am frustrated with random catches and uh, ob obstructions jutting out from the walls uh, they don't help at all with with your enjoyment or challenge I'm frustrated with the random stalls that my sparrow has at times, and like I said, maybe that's a user error. And I would like there to be an upgrade path for your sparrow, just to help with its handling. Now, I don't want to just be a doomsayer or a naysayer, and I don't want to be a complainer, so I want to point out things that I believe are right that Bungie scored with sparrow racing. One, I've talked about the obstacles that frustrated me. I love the obstacles that they have in this game. The spinning turbines on, on Mars. That is perfect. That's awesome. That adds challenge. And when I hit those turbines, that's my fault. I knew they were coming. I know how to avoid them. And when I hit them, that's my fault. So having obstacles like the spinning turbines, having ob obstacles like the, the columns or uh, columns in the middle of the, of the raceway. That's that's great. You know you can you learn to expect those things. Having having little shortcuts that uh, that are risky. You know you may or may not gain an advantage. There are extra. You know you don't have a gate on a shortcut. Should you take the shortcut or should you hit the path with the gate? That is perfect. Having options like that. Having enemies on the track that do occasionally kill racers. Let's say a racer's been damaged from hitting too many obstacles or being uh, being bumped by by opponents and then an enemy shoots them. That is good. That adds challenge and difficulty that we can expect and that we can avoid in the game. As opposed to those random juts and rocks from the walls and in the middle of the path that get in the way and we have a hard time learning where they are and how to avoid them. 
gate slide. That, I think Bungie scored big on that, okay? They allowed someone in last place with enough skill and practice to get from last place to first place. And I believe part of that is due to the gate size. Now, get the gates, I think, are perfectly balanced. When you're in last place, the gates are huge. When you're in first place, the gates are small. And, and it's still based on your skill. To get from last place to first place, even if you hit all the gates, it's all dependent on your skill. And I think that's perfect. That is good. So I do approve of the things Bungie has done in that regard. And, uh, and I don't want to seem like I'm complaining. And like I said, all of these things are my opinion. Some of these things may be user error on my part. But I believe I've expressed a few frustrations that a lot of players experience as well. And I just want to thank you guys for tuning in. Please give me some feedback. Um, and I know some of you guys may argue that having challenges or juts from the rocks or obstacles is more realistic. It's more realistic to planet side environment. And, uh, and I can understand that opinion. You know, that is a valid opinion. Maybe, maybe nothing needs to be changed and all that we need to do is continue working on our skill and how we handle our own spar sparrow. So I can understand, you know, having a hazardous, more realistic planet side environment. But I, but I want to compare this to other racing games, okay? That's, that's, uh, I, I, I feel like there's too many little frustrating things that aren't in other refined, challenging racing games that give us a lot of enjoyment and fun. And one final point that I forgot to mention about one thing that they got right is I love the reward system. Like, there's definitely a suitable award when you get first place, but there's rewards for people who are just starting out, who maybe aren't as good, and uh, enough rewards that make them go, okay, this is actually worth my time. You know, I've scored last place, and I've gotten a couple legendary items, okay? And that may be a frustration to some, but for a person who hasn't earned their license yet, their class A license yet, um, getting legendary items or items that have good perks actually gives me reason to keep playing. And I believe Bungie scored in that. So, anyways, this, is, this video is going a little bit long, and I appreciate you guys listening to my little rant. And uh, please leave your feedback. If you guys agree with me, give the, give the video a like. Um, let Bungie know. If this is something, an opinion that you guys share with me, or a discussion that you would like Bungie to be aware of, please like the video. Please share it. And uh, the best way to keep up with the channel is to just be subscribed. None of the, those buttons bite, okay? So thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate you guys, and you guys have a wonderful day. Peace out.